Alright, so here we are playing Sega Dreamcast. And we're going to be playing Giant Graham 2000. It's a Japanese wrestling game for the Sega Dreamcast. Let me see if we can uh, get this up and running here. We have to use a, uh, a Game Shark. Let's see if this works. It's a little uh, notification there that Game Shark CDX is not licensed or endorsed, blah blah blah, by Sega. Okay, let's see if it recognizes the uh, Game Shark. It did for a second. Alright, the Game Shark is found. So now, click here, click there. Now we have to actually insert the actual game itself. Graham 2000. Let's see how this works. Let's see the uh, Sega Dreamcast reboots. You can probably hear how loud the actual Dreamcast is. The uh, disc, <laughs> you can definitely hear that. It's pretty loud. Here did the uh, Sega Dreamcast going to town trying to load this disc. Got all Japan Pro Wrestling. We have a nice radiant looking blue screen right there. And oh, press the start button right here. Got a little bit of English. Right, let's check this out. We got a look at introduction. Check that out. That looks pretty cool. Nice, nice graphics. So I personally never played this game. I bought it recently. Oh, what a kick to that. Oh, my God. It's got some strong style. Man, that was a, was a pretty stiff clothesline. Over in Japan, they're very, very well known for their strong style. We got Looks like a power bomb. Oh, look at that power bomb. Oh my god, it's like suplex. That almost looked like Billy Jack Hayes. That might have been him, I'm not sure. Or right, Dr. Death Steve Williams, maybe that was him. Who do we have here? We got a, looks like Stan Hansen. Is that Bruce or Browdy? I got Vader. Alright. Now you know this game's awesome, it has Vader in it. We got Stan Hansen. I got some classics inside this game. And there we go. We got the main adventure right there. Now it's time to play Giant Graham 2000. And I don't know what the hell this says, but this is the main menu to Giant Graham 2000. I'm guessing that the top one's probably like an exhibition mode. Let's check it out. Hopefully I'm right. Alright, so we have single or tag. We're going to do standard single mode for right now. Now this is our roster right here. Is that... Now you're always like Bruno Sammartino or Killer Kowalski, one of them. What the heck? Is he really in the game? I can't tell what the uh, Japanese text says up there, so I don't know for sure, but these are... It's actually a pretty cool looking roster. You got Bruiser Browdy right here. I'm pretty sure that's him. Let's choose Browser, Bruiser Browdy. And uh, he wrestled in Japan quite a bit. Up until he uh, got stabbed to death in Puerto Rico. He had, a, he had a lot of friends over in the... <laughs> Look at that. Vintage Bruiser Brody. That is awesome. On the Sega Dreamcast. 
This game came out probably like over 10 years after he passed away. Like as I mentioned, he got, he got stabbed to death in Puerto Rico. He has like a chain, carried a chain to the ring, he's gonna beat the crap out of somebody. Gonna be your music, Mr. Golden Left. This is his uh, first point right here. You see the, uh, the crowd, the crowd actually moves smoothly. They don't really move on around the whole lot, but they actually move, move around quite smooth. The, uh, the animation looks pretty cool. Look at this. We got Bruiser Browdy right there. And the crowd loves Bruiser Browdy. Look at all the, uh, the things that they threw into the ring. Look at that. Unbelievable. Let's see if this guy gets over. Oh, come on. He got, it. he got over pr pretty well, too. I gotta clean the ring real quick. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. Alright, so right now we're loading the game up here. We're gonna try it out, see exactly how this plays. There. Okay, so you don't use the joystick, you use the actual D pad. I've never played this before. So. Oh my god! This is Bruiser Brody's hand. Ooh, the famous Bruiser Brody kick to the face. And Bruiser Brody's doing a taunt. And Bruiser Brody's choking the shit out of him. Up in the air, we got a life bar. He's definitely making him. Oh, stiff hit right there. Kicked him in the face again. What, 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 what do we got? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, he's going to the top rope. Ooh, that was a uh, truck kick from the top rope. That was actually quite impressive. And Bruce of Brody is going for the win. That was a pretty quick win. So you, Bruce of Brody doesn't mess around. That was a uh, that match was over with within uh, like a minute, less than a minute. The controls on this game are a little uh, awkward. Let's see, it's a kind of it's not hard to control, but it gets a little getting used to. So the button placement for each thing is kind of placed in a different spot. We got Bruce Brody making his entrance here. I believe that this might be John Laurinaitis. You might know him in WWE. For being that John Warren, I just GM for Raw. I, I believe that's him right there. It looks like him. And he had a he wrestled in Japan for a little while. Feel the power. That's what it says on his shirt right there. And we have her uh, ring announcer. Uh, I must say the graphics actually look pretty good on this game. It would have been nice to see more wrestling games come out on the Sega Dreamcast. They actually did a pretty good job. And I love the uh, the Bruiser Browdy character model. It looks just like him. It looks pretty cool. And I am pretty sure that's probably John Lauren Artis. Alright, it's time to kick some ass here. Here the uh, drink cast loading. And right away, John Laurinaitis fought back. What, what the hell's going on? Oh, man. It takes a little getting used to for us to control school, but... Uh, definitely, I love the graphics and I love the animation in this game. Yeah, that's actually quite awesome. 
Okay, what the hell is going on here? Ooh, that was a. It looks like a T-boned suplex. Looks like a hurt. Bruiser Barry's not done yet. I'm gonna choke the crap out of him for doing that. Oh, he did another. He's trying to break my neck. We can choke him out. Yeah, I'll take that. Hey, this he's potentially he's gonna. He might beat me. My health is down a little bit lower. Oh man, like a stiff hit. He's a dirty fighter. Oh, get over here. Get over here. I have no idea what the hell. Oh my god. Oh, he did a DDT to me, man. What the heck? Now, what's he doing? He's trying to choke me out. Is an Irish whip? Oh, it was like an RKO. What the heck? He, John Laurinaitis RKO'd me. He, like, tossed me up in the air and did an RKO. That was actually quite impressive. Look at that cool looking character model right there. Got the uh, the arena, the Japanese venue in the background. It has a whole lot of detail. Nice, cool looking venue. And we're we're gonna choose a different different wrestler to see what what options we have. I wonder what the hell this is right here. What is this? like video clips? Or do you like matches? Let's find out. Oh, it's an actual uh, something to do with the game here. Okay. We have one of the, the uh, wrestlers making his way to the ring. And his new song is Grand Sword. See the, uh, the ring, the actual turnbuckle is kind of like, like WCW looking turnbuckle. And then we have the Out of Control, that's the name of this music right here. We got Big Bad Vader making his way to the ring. Here comes Vader. And Vader is ready to uh, kick some ass. Has a pretty damn good looking Vader uh, character model. Uh, Dreamcast has some pretty damn awesome graphics. That's, yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, all these little decoration things being tossed into the ring by the fans. Yeah, big Van Vader. on this game are uh, interesting. I'm not good at it. It's going to take some practice. I kind of figured out right away how to get outside the ring. Wait a minute. What? 
So it appears that the uh, that they reenact this match. That's actually quite interesting. That's actually quite a pretty cool feature that they have here. So you have to reenact an actual real match that occurred. And you can see that's the image of the actual match back in the year 2000. You can see all these matches right here. Oh, even back in 1982. Look at that. You have a versus mode and you have a few other things here. I don't know what the hell this is. Let's check it out. I'm not exactly sure what this is. So I'm going to get out of there. We also have a tag match. We got the... Uh, probably the mo one of the most famous Japanese wrestlers right there in the center. He's like the Hulk Hogan of Japan. We've got a large variety of different rosters, and there's unlockables here too, so there's always uh, quite a few options of unlocking different wrestlers. That's actually quite awesome. So, let's see here. Stan Hansen. Stan Hansen versus a Japanese jobber who's going to get his butt kicked. Stan Hansen's beating up all the fans. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? He's whipping the fans with his rope. He's pissed off. Beating up the referee now and the ring announcer. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? Hey, who, who do we have coming out to the ring? Let's get the match started. Let's skip the, uh, you can just push start, you can skip the uh, ring announcing and all that crap. It's actually not crap, it actually sounds authentic. It sounds pretty good. Slap him. Yeah, you want to hit me? Let me tell you, Sin Hansen in this game is pretty stiff. You can actually see when you slap him, you can see that like the, the sweat come off his face. He slapped him again. Oh. a lot of stiff handing in this game where you see he's got him in a, a headlock he's trying to choke him out he's trying to grab me oh oh man ow that looked like hurt <laughs> what the hell? I got a, a three count right there and Looks like I got my ass kicked. It's gonna take some practice, but yeah, that's some high fidelity gameplay of Giant Graham 2000 here at Wrestling Week. Yeah, uh, it's actually a pretty damn good game, featuring all Japan pro wrestling wrestlers from the past and present. Of course, they're all from the past now because this game came out quite a long time ago. Uh, what a classic Dreamcast game that is! Awesome Japanese wrestling game. In order to play this, you do have to have some way of playing uh, imports on your Dreamcast. I use GameShark. Uh, highly recommend it. The controls do take some getting used to, though, so you have to practice. Like in my case, I never played the game. I just jumped in and started playing it, and uh, that's basically what we got there. And you can tell right here, 
the game is actually trying to show you how to play a little bit. So, you might want to watch that for just a little while before you actually play the game, which, in my case, that's what I'm going to have to do. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, actually not Memory Lane, High Fidelity Gameplay, uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below, and let me know if you want more commentary added to High Fidelity Gameplay.